policing the police every single day. And doing what the Charlotte County Sun newspaper and local TV stations won't do every single day. Hey, Charlotte County, this is Charlotte County Cop Watch, and I didn't think I had a video to do. Well, I always got videos that I can do, but uh, I didn't think I was going to have one for the sheriff because he was not responding to this question, and this is a big one. You guys know that I've uh, found out this guy is heavily, Charlotte County Sheriff Bill Permel, the felon himself, he is a felon, he has a legal list of gun owners, illegally profiling, third degree felony, $5 million fine, and he's doing misdemeanors all day long and records law violations. And here's one of them right here. And this is a great topic that I exposed for a long time. You know, I kept saying that, you know, he's got the cell phone stingray and, uh, and they they always said that we don't have it. I finally found out how he could legally say he didn't have it. And that's because they're borrowing it from, uh, FDLE. Uh, but he has 11 people on his uh, cell phone stingray team uh, to uh, tap your phone, track your phone, get all your voice, your data, everything. That sucker is about the size of a suitcase, and it gets it all when they turn it on. And it gets everybody in the neighborhood. So even though they're going for that guy over there, they're getting you too. And they say, we wouldn't keep that. Uh, yeah. Eh, bullshit. I don't believe it. You're a corrupt-ass piece of shit that needs to be in prison. So here's the other new thing that we found in the records uh, research, and this is why everybody should do a records research. In Florida, you have FOIA requests, and you have Sunshine Law, ask for records. And then it's like a freaking rabbit hole. Just look for keywords and then ask for that next word. And here was a keyword that I found in event reports, CAD reports, incident reports, and it's called ping. Ping is when they're using a cell phone stingray, or now we know... Uh, they're, uh, they're contacting the phone company and saying, it's an emergency. I need you to tell me, uh, where this person is. You are literally carrying a GPS locator with you. It is fucking sad. It's scary. You know, it's good, but it's bad. And this prick is illegally pinging you with the cell phone stingrays and illegally calling these phone companies up and saying, I would never lie, and it's an emergency. Well, bullshit, you're a fucking liar. Um, what's neat is we found a couple reports where the uh, phone companies actually said, fuck you, get a warrant. And that is what they're supposed to do. They're, they're asking the phone companies to break the law and, uh, and find you. Uh, th that's not legal. I mean, unless it's like you're a freaking Unabomber, then it's kind of legal. But even then, you should get a warrant. And they are not. And this bill is proof that uh, the cell phone stingray and the illegal use of calling these phone companies, can you find out where he is? It's an emergency. I would never lie. Bullshit. You're a fucking liar, Charlotte County Sheriff Bill Permel. We already know that because you have the illegal list of gun owners. You are illegally profiling. Just because they had a gun, you said, see if we can work a case on them. Wow. You un-American piece of shit. So here he is, un-American again, $8,000 to get these incident reports with ping in it. And this only goes back... Uh, uh, five years, I think I went back. What did I go? 2007. Gee, only three. Three years, and it's eight grand. That that is bad. I uh, remember when I found him. Finally said, "Take your goddamn country back. You're frog in a pot. The water's gone. Get the hell out and fight felons like this right here." <laughs> Hi, I'm Cornelius, a BCI agent with the Cyber Crimes Unit, and we use technology to solve crimes. Today we're going to use technology to help find Bob. Bob's cell phone is a big clue in this case. His wife Tara says he always has it with him. If we can find that phone, we might be able to find Bob. So I'm going to try to ping his phone and see if we can locate him. How do we ping a phone? Cell phone companies like Verizon, AT&T, and Sprint have the ability to locate any phone that is powered on and has service. That's very helpful when someone is missing. Law enforcement officers simply have to call the company and explain that there's an emergency and someone is missing. If the service provider agrees that it is an emergency, they will provide GPS coordinates in latitude and longitude. We've done this in Bob's case, so now we have the information we need. 
Bob's cell phone company says his phone is pinging within 150 meters of 39.532584 latitude and negative 82.490357 longitude. So now we're going to search the coordinates and we're going to plot the point using Google Maps. So when we plot the point, you can see that the point is real close to Farmer Bob's house and the barn. So now we're going to plot our 150 meter radius and we're going to draw a circle. And within that circle, we are going to send BCI agents and search parties to help go find Bob. So let's go find Bob. Whether you're here, 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 or at one of these, it doesn't matter. This can find you. The common name, Stingray technically a cell site simulator. First developed for military use, it's made its way into local law enforcement. It can track a person down to the room they're in if they have their cell phone on them. Stingrays turn these into homing devices, and that's just the beginning. These are tracking devices. This is emitting a signal. This is GPS. Mike Mino with the North Carolina branch of the ACLU has been watching the spread of stingrays for years. It's my understanding that the software that a lot of these devices use is capable of capturing things like your text messages, the numbers you're calling and receiving calls from. We know for sure they're getting people's location. Here's how it works. Cell phones are always trying to connect to nearby cell towers. A stingray acts like a cell tower decoy. In what's called a man-in-the-middle attack, it tricks cell phones into thinking it's the nearest cell tower, phones connect to the stingray, and police can access a range of personal information. But they don't just get intel on one phone. Every phone nearby is forced to divert to the stingray. Calls are passed on to a real cell tower, data scooped up stays with police. When you ask them why they're using it, they'll say, well, we're targeting certain individuals, but the nature of the technology is so expansive that you cannot use this without countless innocent people having their data captured as well. The I-Team has learned at least three law enforcement agencies in the Triangle have been using cell site simulators, but they don't like to talk about it and may not be allowed to. These two purchase orders show Raleigh and Durham police bought variations of the Stingray within the last 10 years. Raleigh's purchase order, obtained by the I-Team two years ago, shows the department paid more than $120,000 for the device. Separate documents obtained by the ACLU show Durham spent nearly twice that. In spite of those purchase orders, both departments claimed not to be using one when the I-Team asked recently. Raleigh says they stopped using theirs because of outdated technology. With the Stingray, though, secrecy is part of the deal. Durham's contract with the device's manufacturer includes a strict non-disclosure clause, not just about the Stingray, but about the agreement itself and its subject matter. There is such secrecy around this, and I think it's because it's so powerful. I have a cell site simulator, and um, we do use it. Wake Sheriff Donnie Harrison is the only current law enforcement officer we could find here or elsewhere willing to talk even a little about the device and how it's used. It's a very useful tool that we use, uh, not only for the bad guys, uh, but for looking people that are lost, looking people that uh, say they're going to commit suicide. Sometimes we have used them uh, for children that's missing that have uh, phones. and. Um, Basically, that's all about, about all I'm going to say about it. Harrison told us Wake County has had a cell site simulator since 2008. He insists they're always within the law and always get a warrant first. But there's very little public documentation of those warrants or of the use of stingrays in general here or in any of the cities in which we looked. But no, we don't like to talk about it. Uh, you know, when a general goes in battle, he doesn't uh, give out his battle plans. It's the classic question. Safety or privacy? Law enforcement will tell you these things get bad guys off the street and help good people out in the meantime. Critics say we just don't know, and we don't, by design. As long as we do it lawfully, uh, I don't care what people say. Uh, my job is to keep people safe. The public needs to know more. I think this is something that the courts need to know more about. Um, there are real questions about whether a technology that soaks up innocent people's data can be used uh, 
constitutionally. Hey, Sheriff sure, County, this is Sheriff sure, County Cop Watch. I am using any video here with under fair use. If you uh, have criticism, reporting, teaching, etc., and please donate. I do not make money from YouTube, and uh, there are different ways to donate in the uh, video links. Thanks.